I share with you five signs. Signs that your suffering as a Muslim is not going to waste. And your sacrifice will be thanked by Allah. Jalla Jalalu. Five signs, and we take them from the biography of Musa alayhi salam. Who better? Sign number one. Measure yourself against these five. You have an unquenchable thirst for knowledge. This was Musa. When he came to learn of a man who has more knowledge of him in some things, he said, La Abrah, I'm not going to stop traveling. Till I arrive at the junction of the two seas. Even if it takes me many years, I will find this man and I will learn from him. And when he came to his mentor, who was less than him in status, but he has some knowledge, he said, Hal do you mind if I accompany you to learn some of the sound judgment that Allah has given you? Allahu Akbar. So this is sign number one to measure yourself against. Are you a man, a woman chosen by Allah to be for Allah? Tell me about your thirst for knowledge. May yuridillahu bihi khayra yufaqihu fi deen. Our Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, when Allah wants good for a person, he gives him understanding of the religion. Sign number two. You have a strong commitment to ibadah, worship, in all of its forms. The very first words Musa heard from Allah Jalla Jalaluhu in that sacred valley of Tuwa was, Fa'budni, worship me. Wa'aqimi salata li dhikri and establish the prayer for my remembrance. That's sign number two to measure yourself against. What type of abid? Worshipper are you? Become an exemplar worshipper of Allah Jalla Jalaluhu. When people are eating and drinking, you are fasting. When people are sleeping at night, you are standing in salah. When people are gossiping and scrolling through their socials, you are busy in the remembrance of Allah Jalla Jalaluhu. That's sign number two. You are a worshipper in times of ease and in times of hardship, in times of happiness and sadness, prosperity, adversity. Your motto in life is salah, dhikr, Quran, qiyam. A sign that Allah has chosen you to be for him. Sign number three. You have a fearless ability to acknowledge your personal error. There are certain mistakes that we've made in our past that we should have amended 10 years ago. <clears throat> certain people we should have apologized to 15 years ago. Musa alayhi salam was not that man. When he made a mistake, he was quick to say, Astaghfirullah, this is from shaitan. And he would make the changes in his life. When he saw two men fighting and he underestimated his own strength and he pushed the Egyptian and the man died, he didn't say, he deserves it. He's a road man, troublesome, always fighting, always getting up to no good. I know what I'm doing. He's in the wrong. No apology from me. This wasn't Musa. He said, Hada min amali shaitan. This is from shaitan. Innahu aduun mudillun mubin. He's an enemy. Openly leading people astray. Then he said, Rabbi ghfirli, my Lord, forgive me. Faghafara lah. So Allah forgave him. Innahu hu al ghafurul rahim. Allah is the forgiving and merciful. So this is sign number three to measure yourself against. How do you feel when someone advises you? Are you now thinking as a knee-jerk reaction how to advise him back to give him a taste of his own medicine? How do you feel when you hear a khutbah like this, a dars, a meme, a, a lecture, a talk, whatever it may be, advising you? This is halal, this is haram. This dress, dress is an obligation, this dress is impermissible. This business is halal, this business is haram. How do you feel? If you find yourself accepting the mistake, acknowledging your error, and rushing to make the change, Abshir, good news, that's sign number three in your life, that Allah is preparing you to be for Him. Sign number four, you have an unbreakable ethic of sabr, patience. Before He left Egypt and after, Musa alayhi salam suffered at every level. وَلَمْ يُرَى إِلَّا صَابِرًا مُحْتَسِبًا Yet he was only ever seen patient. In fact, so great was his sabr, Patience. That our Prophet وسلم, saw Musa as an example. And when things became tough for him and people harmed him, he would say, Rahim Allahu Akhi Musa. May Allah have mercy on my brother Musa. He suffered more than this. He was patient. Patience with the commandments of Allah. Patience with the prohibitions of Allah. 
patience with the qadr, the painful decrees of Allah. That's sign number four to measure yourself against. And five, before I sit down. Your fifth sign to measure yourself to see whether you are being prepared by Allah to be for Allah is that you have this desire to be of service to others. Musa sees two people fighting. He has to involve himself to settle the dispute. He did this twice. He sees two women who can't push and shove with men to water their animals. So he takes the initiative, brings the animals, water them, hand them over and walks away. Even when he was studying under his teacher and he saw things that he didn't like, he had to say something. Ah, so Musa was a man of ihsan, excellence, wanting to serve. It's not just about his ambitions and his career and his mirror reflection. Allah says, when he reached his full age of maturity and became a man, we gave him wisdom and knowledge. Why? Because Musa was a man who was of excellence, of service to others. These are five signs to measure yourself against, to see whether you are for Allah, by Allah and for Allah. We said number one, a thirst for knowledge. Number two, a commitment to ibadah. Number three, a fearless acknowledgement of personal error. Number four, an ethic of sabr, patience. You're not quick to snap. And number five, you have a longing to be of khidmah, of service to others. 